Howdy folks, TJ here. ColecoVision time. I've been wanting to test the cassette, or I should say, it's not cassette. What the heck is it? It's, uh, somebody already told me it's a data cartridge, data pack, high-speed digital data pack. Time to test this, because in my last video, it was a first test, and I just wanted to, you know, unbox, and it was a long video, it was like a half an hour. And I tested a cartridge, played a little Qbert quite well. <laughs> uh, but now it's time to test the cassette. I've never, ever played with a ColecoVision Atom tape, or I'm going to keep calling it tape, I just know. I mean, there is tape in there, but data pack. Now, I'm, I'm familiar with weird technologies <laughs> because I own a, a Sinclair QL and they, instead of using floppy disks, they use these little itty bitty, little, little, little cartridges. They, they want you to call them cartridges even though there's tape in them. Just imagine them kind of like little, little eight tracks, but they're like two tracks. I don't know how old you guys are that are watching this, but... You'll probably know what cassette tapes are. You'll know what 8-track tapes are. Do you know what play tapes are? Odds are no, even if you're probably my age. But play tape came out before the 8-track. And it's basically about the size of these QL cartridges. They held about two songs. Maybe three, I think. Maybe four, something like that. I used to own a play tape. Now, it's just like an 8-track. If you've ever taken an 8-track apart, it's voodoo. I mean, you got it's one spindle and everything wraps around and somehow it all comes back into itself. I My brain just doesn't work like that. Now, cassettes. I've repaired my own cassettes before. They get all freaked out and you take them apart. But there's two round things and it ends and you, you know where there's a beginning and an end. With 8-tracks or these type of things, it's confusing. So, I just wanted to bring out these little QL things to say, hey... I actually dig older tape technology, cartridges, data packs. <laughs> so today we're going to play with the Atom. The, uh, the only one I own, uh, obviously you know I just acquired this, purchased this ColecoVision Atom. And it came with expert type. So today my very first, uh, I'm, I'm, gonna be, I'm a virgin right now, but my very first tape is going to be expert type. Now I don't know what came with the ColecoVision Atom back in the day. I guess I'll have to read. Did it come with any cassette, data pack, as stock? I think it actually, maybe it came with Buck Rogers, and I didn't get that with this. So it would have been so cool if I would have got to start with Buck Rogers. Instead, I'm going to say, hey, TJ, how did you pop your, I'm not going to say it, because this is a semi-adult station, but not. Uh, how did you pop your, mm, uh, with your ColecoVision, and I'm going to have to say expert type. <laughs> Damn it. That's okay. I just want to test it and make sure it works. So I have my ColecoVision connected. I do know that you're supposed to keep this tape far, far away from the printer, turn on the printer, get everything running, then slap the tape in, and we're going to see what happens. Now, I, I haven't read. I should have read, but I've watched a video where I think once you put the tape in and reset the computer side of the Atom, it's going to automatically start loading this, I think. So anyway, let me just quickly show you. So it's expert type. Here's the cassette that I received. And it came in a box. Uh, expert type. Nice big box. You know, something that would have been fun back in the olden days where you go to a computer store and they actually had boxes where you could buy stuff. It says ages 10 and up. A digital data pack cassette. See, they do use the word cassette. Cassette. The arch, the arch, which is the arch. <laughs> expert. I'm not going to pronounce it. It's going to be French, uh, French Canadian. The uh, electronic type teacher with a personal touch guide. Personal. Oh, that's. I'm starting to get into French again. So, needless to say, I do like that the box opened like this, so you didn't have to finagle it out the top. And it came with some paperwork and a booklet. So mine came with this insert card. And an uh, expert type uh, teacher booklet. And that side's the English side. And this other side's the French side, I guess. French-Canadian. I don't want to say French. I, I'm not too familiar with French, you know, Quebec. I don't, I don't know that area up there. But I guess it's pretty much French-Canadian. 
uh, world up here. I don't know. <laughs> Damn Canadians. My first ever... I think I've complained about this before. And it was back in the 90s. My first ever being taken advantage of over the internet where I got screwed over some money came from a Canadian. Even though I have a lot of Canadian friends and I love them to pieces. But still, I like to bitch about it. <laughs> okay, so don't put the tape in yet. Let's turn on the computer. I mean, uh, TV. And then we're going to turn on the ColecoVision. Make sure it boots up again. I think I've got it on channel 3. There we go. All right. So let's turn on the ColecoVision. Find that little oddball button way in the back. Printer made its noise. That made its noise. Good. Okay. So on the top of this cassette data pack, <laughs> there is a button that you uh, eject. So you push and the little door popped open. See, little door popped open. You can probably see that from there. Oh, this is still factory packed. Oh, I really am a virgin on this thing, huh? Oh, now I gotta find a pair of scissors or something to slit this open. And I and I might not have a pair of, I got a pair of scissors, but oh, this is gonna be a difficult one. Oh, this is like sealed for the last 40 bazillion years. It's gonna be hard to open maybe. Um, oh, it's starting to peel off, but it's all falling apart. Plastic. Oh, where's my trash can? <laughs> I wasn't prepared. Did I even start the recording on this thing? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, okay, plastic, plastic. Oh, oh, this is tight. Oh, it's tight. So it's Friday. I had to be a... Are you your handy fix-it man or woman at home? That's me here. I have to repair stuff. And our toilet... I had to fix and replace and pull up and do a lot of toilet work today. So I'm a little in a shitty situation. <laughs> uh, but I'm still chipper. Oh, I still got, look at this. Whoa, the plastic. <laughs> oh, I'm so hyper today. Okay, oh, that, the camera's probably going in and out. In and out. All right, so pop open. Oh, the case open. Oh, it's such a pretty, I, I need to admire it. So I know that these aren't exact cassettes, but the, there's a couple of extra holes or less a couple holes, one of the two, in these that make it a little bit different. And, and it should be a higher speed, too. High speed, it says. High, high, high speed digital data pack. Does it say side A or side B? No, but the printed, I'm guessing, goes on the outside, I hope. So, oh, it's pretty blue. See, do you, I don't know if you're going to get that. I'm like, squirrel. Pretty blue. <laughs> oh, I, oh, so the, the, it goes down. Okay, so the text goes down. Did I put this in right? Oh, the door shut. That's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and reset and see what happens. Okay, three, two, one. Printer made a noise. The cassette's making a noise. A lot of squirrels going on in there. Squirrel, where's the girl? <laughs> I got a dog outside chasing squirrels right now. Oh, that thing's flying. If I was playing Kiss back in the day in the 70s, it'd be going to be a little, little. I think that was one of the first cassettes I purchased. Kiss, Love Gun, might have been. So this thing's flying. Blue screen in Windows. That would be blue screen to death. But this is a pretty blue, nice blue. So this is flying. I don't know. Is it working? We'll see if it loads up. I mean, it is a brand new expert type. And if it does load, I'm not going to use it much. I just wanted to make sure this works. It'd be nice to know I'm hitting on all pistons so I can start acquiring data packs and write to them, read to them, read from them. So even though it's a high speed, <laughs> it does take a little while. <laughs> And it's a pleasant noise. It, you know, it's not... If, if you are a Sinclair... Oh! Well, that was cute. Adam, the ColecoVision's family computer system presents Expert Type 1984. I was graduating that year from high school. And this comes up. So this is actually, please type your name and press return. T-H-O-M-A-S F-E-R-R-E-I-R-A and hit return. 
Thomas Ferrer, hello, I'm your instructor. Let, let's move in closer on this. I'm sure you guys want to see this. I mean, it is a high-tech program, right? Okay. Let's shift the keyboard over a little bit. All right, please type your age. Oh, it was the, if I was a woman, I'd be offended, right? You never ask a, a woman her age. Please type your age and press return. Oh, hell. How old do you think I am? I look 80. But I do have all my beard trimmed and everything, so I look a little younger. 55. <coughs> ding, ding. Touch typing. Lesson one. Use your left pinky finger to type the character... Is that an A? I, I gotta use my left pinky. Not my, my right pinky, my left pinky. A. Use your left ring finger to type the character. I haven't worn a ring for so long. I've been married 30 some odd years, but I never wear my ring because I'm always smacking it on stuff. I'm so hyper. I, I don't even know where it is. But when I go on business trips, I wear it just to make my wife happy. Your left ring finger, is that the right? Oh, I think it's this one, right? Oh, hell, I don't remember. S, 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 okay. Use your left middle finger. Now I know what that middle finger is. Ooh, <laughs> it's been a while since I flipped somebody the bird, though. Middle finger to type the character D. I mean, is it going to know if I'm not using my middle finger? Use your left index finger to type the character F. It's making little noises. It's teaching me to type. Now place all four fingers. Oh, it went too fast. Use your... I, you went too fast. I don't know what it said. Use your right index finger to type J. I'm going to stop this. Because this is going to get kind of boring. <laughs> but hopefully my enthusiasm for it is making it a little bit exciting. So let's pan back out. Because the goal of this video... Let me pan back out. And we'll wrap things up. This will actually be a semi-short video for me. That I could load from a data pack. Hey, I said data pack without saying cassette first. So cool. It is working. Now what do I get next? So I do need to get on the flea bays and buy Buck Rogers because if I was stepping back in time, it would have been Buck Rogers I would be playing right now. Instead, I'm typing, but I did get to use my middle finger. <laughs> that was something. So thanks for watching the video. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday and peace.